If you could all take your seats once you have your bagels. Um, we're here for a very special event. Um, my name is Isaac Zablocki. I'm director of film programs. I think we're not going to take questions right away. Okay, is this better? All right. I hope I hope you can all hear me. Okay. Um, anyway, my name my name is Isaac Zablocki. I'm the director of film programs here at the JCC in Manhattan. Director, executive director of the Other Israel Film Festival. Um, I want to give a big thank you to Megan Stevenson Krauss, who put uh, our partners all together, coordinated all our partners today. Um, she's sitting um, at the side, um, but a, this, this whole event, the at the Other Israel Film Festival, I feel that we inspire with fabulous films made by the filmmakers, and we're grateful to them. Um, but uh, after people are inspired, there's always a call to action. People want to know what we can do, and I've been saying this after every screening and before every screening, that our partners are our call to action. We have this year over 50 partners at the festival, and uh, we felt that they should have a platform to share all the wonderful work that they're doing in terms of, of uh, making Israel a better place. Um, so that's kind of how the Visions of the Future event was created, and uh, we're excited to have here today 15 partners who, in lightning sessions, will share their visions of a future of Israel. They were given three questions, who they are, um, what they are, um, what their vision for the future of, of Israel is, and what they're doing to achieve that, that, uh, that vision. Um, and they're gonna answer that with uh, the help of some slides behind them. And it's kind of a new format that we're trying out and I'm hoping uh, will be a successful one. Um, we're, as uh, in between, as we, it's going to go very quickly, but as we get each uh, partner, the next partner up, um, our moderator, who's uh, Rabbi Joy Levitt, the executive director of the JCC in Manhattan, um, will ask them one follow-up question. Once everyone is gone, all 15 partners have gone, we're going to take a couple of minutes to take your questions to all the partners. If anybody has any questions, to any follow-up questions to the partners, and then each partner is actually going to have time to talk to, to you individually. Each partner is going to take a table um, on the side here, and you'll have about uh, 15 minutes or so to go over to the partner and ask them more questions, get some information, get their business card, um, whatever you might need to further connect with the partner. Um, following that at 1.30, we have our um, uh, New Voices short film series down in the, in the um, auditorium on the L2, fabulous short films also in the theme of visions of the future. So it's a perfect follow-up to this event. Uh, you'll see some actual visions, um, literal visions of the future. And um, following that today, we have the film Good Garbage. Then um, we're gonna have in here a reading of a soon to be produced screenplay um, on the topic of uh, Bedouin life in Israel. And uh, we finish off the day with the film um, Fading Valley downstairs. So please join us for that and more. We're here also all week. I'd love to hand it over right now to get the lightning started to Rabbi Joe Levitt. Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you so much for coming, and thank you especially our partners. You actually animate this festival, and we're very grateful to you, not just for uh, lending your name and expertise and passion to this festival, but for the work that you do every day on the ground here and in Israel to strengthen Israeli society. So thank you, you make us as a community stronger and we're really appreciative for what all it is that you do. This is, I get this mic very rarely at the Other Israel Film Festival, so forgive me if I once again thank the founder of the Other Israel Film Festival, Carol Zabar, for the idea for this festival. Seven years ago, eight years ago, none of this happened, you know, and suddenly we now have thousands and thousands and thousands of people and hundreds and hundreds of films that get better and better every year and wonderful conversations and terrific partners and uh, projects that are beginning to really take hold. And, you know, all of this happens with a team and that team, of course, is, is uh, Ariana and Ravit and Yitzi and especially in this program, Megan. Um, but it started with one idea and one vision and one person who said, can we? 
we must. And it continued with an institution, the JCC in Manhattan, that um, whose muscle is to say yes. And so, Carol, we have a partner of Carol's um, on the other side of the ocean, and that's Mohammed Bakri, who shares, sits on the team helping us choose the movies and inspires us to dig deeper and go broader and think harder about the questions that we want to ask every week. Mohammed, thank you so much for all you do for the festival. So I have the unenviable job of keeping these um, incredibly intelligent, passionate, and I suspect verbose partners um, to three minutes. Um, so this is like you've heard of speed dating. This is kind of like speed dating. Um, on the other hand, all of us have been trained to get our elevator pitch down pat when we have to speak to funders, when we have to speak to people that we want to interest. They often don't have a whole lot of time to, to listen to us, so this is really good for you. I just want to say that. It's really good for you. And even if it's not, we're going to hold you to three minutes. So as Yitzi said, um, we've asked each of our partners to, um, to give us their organizational mission, to tell us their future, their hope for the futures, future of Israel, and what they are doing um, to advance that mission. And our first speaker is Bruce Temkin from the New Israel Fund. Hi, my name is Bruce Temkin, and since we're speed dating, I'm five foot eight. I, no. um, um, and uh, as a way of, of starting, um, I actually want to, um, instead of thanking Carol Zabar, I actually want to flatter her by stealing something that she said on uh, the opening night of the Other Israel Film Festival, which was talking about uh, Israel's Declaration of Independence, which if you have not read it, is this beautiful, beautiful document that talks about Israel, the aspirational goals for Israel, trying to be a country that... that that um, is equal for all of its citizens. Well, uh, regardless of race, religion, uh, uh, background, um, it is a wonderful doc document. And the New Israel Fund is the organization for the last 30 years that's really been sort of holding Israel to its values and trying to cre create that aspirational vi vision. We're the largest organization working for equality and justice for all Israelis, whether these Israelis are veterans or immigrants, whether they're women or men, whether they are gay or straight, that wasn't part of the Declaration of Independence, um, uh, whether they are religious or secular. The New Israel Fund has been working for the last 30 years to trying to create social justice and equality for all Israelis. So how do we do that? We are a funder of organizations. Actually, some of the partners up here received some of their first funding from the New Israel Fund. We fund hundreds of grassroots, nonpartisan, nonprofit organizations working in three distinct areas. One is in civil and human rights, the other is in religious pluralism and tolerance, and the third is in social and economic justice. So there's hundreds of organizations that we have started, we have seeded, and we continue to fund. In addition to actually funding these organizations, we are providing them with capacity building. So one, the, one of the things that makes us a unique organization is that we're not just a funder, we're actually giving organizations money, but uh, providing them with capacity building help. How do you do your own fundraising? How do you do your own uh, media and marketing for these organizations? Um, and all this is trying to create our vision for Israel, which is a organism, which is a country really that is a, a, a true democracy. And as we in America know, democracy is not just about one person, one vote, but democracy is about that vibrant uh, microcosm, that, that, that vibrant uh, uh, culture that includes providing the, the disenfranchised people for a voice. And we are trying to do that, which is providing all Israelis, even the disenfranchised Israelis, to, give, to provide them for a voice. And I think we can be very proud of what we've done so far in promoting the rights and the voices of women, of uh, the issues of religious pluralism, of LGBT rights, and the rights of Arab citizens of Israel. Um, and with that, I don't know how far I am with the three minutes, but I will stop. That is a model. New Israel Fund is not only a model for... Um, for um, speaking for only three minutes, but for the work that they do. So, Bruce, I just want to ask you one question. What keeps you up at night?
I'm going to answer that as an American Jew. Um, what keeps me up at night is um, people giving up. Um, that it's very easy, and if anybody read Thomas Friedman this morning, um, uh, it's very easy to raise your hands and say, I give up. You know, the Israeli, the occupation, the, you know, women being, things being hurtled at women at the Western Wall is saying, this just so, this is not the Israel that I envision. This is not the Israel that speaks to me. Um, without realizing that there are partners on the other side of the ocean that are working towards creating that vision that we can really relate to. Thank you. Our next speaker, Gal Peleg from Givar Chaviva. Thank you. Hi, my name is Gal Peleg. I'm the Shaliyah for Hashemar Youth Movement and also for Givat Chaviva. Uh, Givat Chaviva was established in. Okay. Yeah. Givat Chaviva was established in 1949, which is one year after the establishment of the State of Israel. It, was, it started its Arab-Jewish center as a dialogue between the, the Arab and Jewish citizens of Israel back in the 60s, while the Arab were already, well, were still under martial law in Israel. This shows you a little bit about how innovative was the work of Givat Chaviva. But Givat Chaviva of today is all about the future, and our, our future program, our vision for the future of, uh, of Israel is called Shared Communities. And Shared Communities is, is a project that brings together mayors and municipalities that live in close proximity to each other through various, various programs in two parallel approaches. One of them is bottom-up, which is a grassroots initiative that exists in various in various uh, in in the very in the certain geographical area between those those communities, all the interactions that are happening between civil society organizations and uh, other initiatives that are affecting a specific demographic uh, uh, geographic area. But another parallel approach is a top down, where we bring together the mayors, who are brave people that can really make a change, and those municipalities and those steering committees are working together on creating their platform and what do they see as the vision of, the, of their shared life. So Givat Chaviva is all about creating a better and shared society for the state of Israel. Thank you very much. We know a little bit about mayors in this town, particularly now. Um, tell me a story, a success story, from one of those partnerships between those mayors. Something that actually doesn't keep you up at night, but actually keeps you going. Well, I can share a story that I heard from, from the mayor of Pardes Khanna, who is uh, Pardes Khanna Kalku, who was one of the participants, the first participants in the pilot program uh, in, the, in the pilot phase of this program, and he shared with us, and he, and he, and he shared it on a, on a conference that Givat Chaviva has held in, in, in Israel, and he said basically that if this program has been up and running in the 2000, he would believe that the, the 2000 uprisal would never have happened. And I think this tells the whole story. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you.